What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ryan. Today we're gonna kind of do a show-like format. Show-like formats people like, so we you know we get a lot of uh, different topics in the show-like format. Uh, so before we get to a bunch of stuff that I printed out from the Nootropic subreddit that I can answer <clears throat> and talk about, um, check us out on the web, livecortex.com slash blog, big blog for Nootropics information. Uh, like us on Facebook, please. Facebook.com slash Cortex Stacks is where we are at. Uh, we got a couple products. Let me run through the specials on products. I think we got one ending the 11th of November, so you're going to want to hear this. Here they are. Elite level nootropic products. All right, number one, we've got a nootropic stack. It is called Cortex. Uh, basically, we made Cortex for entrepreneurs, people that need to focus and have productivity and mental energy and verbal fluency. And But instead, like, I mean, basically, I mean, a lot of entrepreneurs buy it, but, but, Professionals buy it, medical professionals buy it, you know, people in school buy it, you know, if, if you're a college kid that needs to study and or you're going to go up and give a speech and need verbal fluency <clears throat> and or like the workload is requiring a significant degree of mental endurance, buy the Cortex deck. Uh, right now, the special is if you use the coupon code 7, just the number 7, you can get Cortex for 25 bucks a bottle. Pretty good for it's being called the only pre-made stack that works. If you need my help personally on anything related to nootropics, we've got a nootropics consulting service. It's the only one uh, that I know of on the web. Uh, basically, it's a call with me for 40 minutes on helping you figure out stacks that work well. Uh, we just launched Stack List, which is, you know, if you want a, a, just a list, a no BS list of some of the best nootropic stacks in the world, <clears throat> get Stack List. It's the combination of all of our stacks and all of our digital books. Uh, it's digital also. And if you're new to nootropics, buy Smarter, Better, Faster. Smarter, Better, Faster uh, teaches you everything you need to know about nootropics, gives you many stacks, shows you how to cycle. <clears throat> Get all that good stuff at livecortex.com. All of our products, by the way, support this broadcast. So if you love this broadcast, go buy one of our products, and chances are you're going to actually love the product too. Okay, so I, 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 got a, I printed out a bunch of different... Uh, nootropic subreddit threads, and I just kind of want to run through them because they're all relevant to us as nootropic takers. First one is cholinergics causing depression. Now, this is something that I think we run into all the time. You know, those of you that have been taking nootropics for a while, you kind of know that this can happen if you t if you take your dose too high on a particular cholinergic. So I'm going to read this, read a little bit of the comments, and then kind of just quickly give my take on it. Uh, so it goes, I've been seeing a lot about how cholinergics cause depression in brain fog. I take DHA, choline, alpha GPC, so I don't know what choline he's talking about there, but you know, probably choline by tartrate, and on occasion when I really needed aniracetam, along with a bunch of other basic supplements unrelated to acetylcholine. I've been feeling a bit down lately. Uh, I really don't want to, I don't really want to add to my brain fog as I already have enough. Would it be wise to discontinue use? And is it the alpha GPC, the DHA, or the choline I should worry about? Uh, so somebody in the comment section points out, alpha GPC is a form of choline. Okay, so like that's kind of the thing. Excess choline can cause sudden, generally short-lived depression. And that's totally true. Whatever kind of brain fog or depression you get from cholinergics, if you take them in excess, uh, it is short-lived. <clears throat> uh, let's see if there's anything else relevant. Okay, so he goes in the comment section, he actually goes and says, I'm taking uh, 550 milligrams of choline two tablets daily. And as for the GPC, I'm taking two 300 milligram tablets daily. Uh, which should I discontinue? Okay. First of all, that's probably choline by tartrate and 550 milligrams. I would discontinue that because um, you're not really taking any racetams just on occasion. Um, and really, I would take your alpha GPC dose down significantly. First, I would try cutting it completely in half and being at 150 milligrams. And then if that still gives you brain fog and depression, take it down to like 50 to 75 milligrams. Uh, but you should add some stuff to that. Frankly, you should add 200, 200 to 300 milligrams of Alcar. You should add a B complex uh, in that to help regulate the neurotransmitters. And frankly, if you're gonna be taking alpha GPC and it's giving you any degree of issue, you probably need to use more of it instead of having it floating around your brain. And so, yeah, I would add the aniracetam back in at a regular dose of 700 milligrams a little more often. All right, that is number one. Uh, the, next, the next topic is actually pretty cool and interesting. It's called Concerns About Dopamine Antagonists. I have been taking Bacopa Monieri 250 milligrams for two weeks now, and the anxiolytic effect, anxiolytic effect is unmatched. So that's really important for people. And you know, a lot of folks go, first of all, Bacopa and 250 milligrams like isn't enough. 
Totally enough. We, we have 300 in the Cortex stack, just to give you an example. And I studied <clears throat> and tested that stack ruthlessly with like, you know, other soldiers, some of my guys that I went to combat with. So like legit soldiers from the United States Army. And <clears throat> you don't have to take it in super high doses to get an effect. <clears throat> Uh, his question is, is it possible to develop psychosis or schizophrenia through the dopamine antagonist effects of, uh, of Bacopa? Does an antagonism cause the brain to compensate by enhancing dopamine sensitivity? Will I, hyper, will I be hypersensitive to dopamine if I seize my Bacopa consumption? I'm not sure <clears throat> you know, how strong of a dopamine antagonist Bacopa is, but I wouldn't say that's an issue. You got one anecdote here. I used Bacopa monoeuri for almost a year and stopped three weeks ago because I ran out of it, but I will continue it when my order comes. Didn't really notice much withdrawal or rebound symptoms at all. Uh, so there you go. I mean, I really don't think it's a problem. I've taken Bacopa on and off for many years and so have a lot of other people. All right, moving on. Last last, uh, last topic here. Ooh, this is a good one, I think, for folks. Ashwagandha and memory recall. I've taken KSM 66. That's like, you know, apparently the most pure version of ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is a mild acetylcholinesterase inhibitor. So to give you a little more cholinergic activity, but mostly it's a calming Ayurvedic herb that uh, reduces uh, cortisol, which is a stress hormone. When I take it on a regular basis, I notice that I'm able to recall very old memories. Is this something anyone has experience with? Um, that's basically it. Uh, and then somebody says, I remember reading an article about how ashwagandha and Bacopa, or like Bacopa, acts as an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. Just like I said, and that's probably the reason that that happens. See, like some people, the, the thing that I've come to understand and just like dealing with a bunch of people on nootropics and a large spectrum of effects is that uh, some people are a lot more sensitive to choline esterase inhibitors or anything that improves the, uh, the quantity profile of acetylcholine, which is like a focused neurotransmitter, memory neurotransmitter in the brain. Um, it's a excitatory. It's an excitatory action when you have more of that. So there's 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 more going on, and so probably you're going to have some some good memory. Um, and you got a, a few other people that are saying kind of the same thing. I started ashwagandha recently, and I've been noticing some vivid dreams, and that's probably related to the choline esterase <clears throat> inhibition properties uh, of it. I don't really notice a whole lot of that when I take ashwagandha. I mean, it's like you know our whole point here, and what we try to to uh, facilitate. Point-wise, in things like Smarter, Better, Faster, where we, we talk about some of the stuff, is you got to know like which nootropics, and this is something you know happens over time, uh, contribute to which things, and then you kind of use them appropriately. So, so uh, I use ashwagandha two grams or something right before bed when I haven't been sleeping particularly well. If something's really going on in my life that's stressful, <clears throat> uh, I take it and I basically just get a way way better restful sleep. I mean, I actually wake up. You know those mornings when you wake up and and you feel good. And you're like, you know, you're in a good mood. You kind of just spring out of bed and just like you're, you're calm. You're not overrun by your brain right away in the morning. That's sort of the deal with um, ashwagandha. That's kind of why I take it. All right. So I hope that all that's been helpful. We'll do a lot more of these kind of style format shows where we just basically do a show on your trip. I think that's going to be cool for people. We'll, we'll switch back and forth between our regular informative videos and kind of just doing this because I think there's a lot that people can get from this stuff too. Okay. Uh, so that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, every shred of information on this broadcast is free, but it's supported by some products. We got the Cortex stack. That's our nootropic stack. I mean, you know, no shit. Cortex is a strong stack in the eyes of our users. Uh, the, the weird contingent of folks that started taking it, this was like two years ago, but it's like increasingly so, our poker players, right? There's a there's a, a Sands Casino close to here, close to me. I'm in, I'm in basically Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Um, you know, and I sell the product to a lot of folks that go there and just play poker, but there's all people all around the world that, that use it for like five card set, five card draw for focus because it like lasers you in. Anyway, buy a bottle of Cortex at livecortex.com, support the broadcast, get an awesome stack. Uh, coupon code seven right now gets your Cortex for 25 bucks. We got to move a lot of Cortex. We got inventory coming in. So just buy a bunch of bottles if you can. Um, if you need my help on nootropics, get the consulting service. If you're new to nootropics, Smarter, Better, Faster is basically the book to read. It teaches you everything, gives you some of my favorite stacks. And uh, if you would just want a list of stacks that you can take that have been tested on a lot of folks that have taken me just about 10 years to figure out, uh, buy stack list because that's a combination of all of our stacks from all of our books, which is exactly what I just said, okay? Get all that stuff at livecortex.com. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Talk to you next time.